what's going on? It's your boy Err, uh, battle number three of the day. We are here at the Don't Flop six birthday. Shouts to everybody who's come outside. It's the first break battle of the day. First time we've ever done it. Shouts to my boy Bam every time for uh, sorting this out. Okay, this is a top eight tournament battle. Yes, we do know it's been a long time since June round number one, but we always had every intention to finish it off. And it's now the sixth birthday. We're coming back for it. The final and these semi-finals will be on the main channel, so it's all good. All right, MC on my left hand side. You know the score. He killed it in his battle number one. Now battle number two in the tournament. It's Twisted Penny. He's made some noise. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, as you can tell, we're in a bit of a rush to get this done. Shouts to both MCs for being uh, cool with this. MC on my right hand side, again, absolutely smashed it on three days prep in the first uh, battle of the tournament. Battle number two is Sleepy G, make some noise! Yeah. Yeah. Are you first, yeah? yeah. Alright, cool, break battle number one. Yeah. Great tournament shit, so I'm gonna do Sleepy G <laughs> right. round number fucking one. Let's go. We're good, yeah? Yep, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. If he's done his research on me, right now, dude should be feeling real scared. Because if he's watched that Integ battle, you should know I'm down to beat down all these dudes with weird hair, but he shaved it off, and he. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine, I get it. You must have finally realised you look like a right Belen. <laughs> Either way, for Twisted, this shit, it's an inevitable loss. So if you thought you were going to win, you're clearly going to get it wrong, because the way I put this shit together, well, we ain't going to get along, because when I put down lines, it breaks lines down. Mm. Whatever level he's on, like Tetris blocks. <laughs> Two battles in, you ain't really said a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and despite the fact he's a no name, this matchup still got me set for the top. I'm a move like the Wolf of Wall Street. Why? I came here to make my name off Penny Stock. Wins in DF. I don't expect you to get a lot. <laughs> and he doesn't know it yet, but he's definitely getting washed. But you know what I reckon will send in the message? Watch, I'll show him how these punches work until the penny drops. Let's rock. You said. I live in a Lord of the Rings fantasy world anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a little weird. Because <laughs> you've got the physical state of Gollum, yet the mind state of Schmeagel. On this theory, I'm going to have to speak some shit to make it clear. I just find it funny that as soon as he finds a way of stepping back inside the ring, that physical presence he has seems to disappear. <laughs> and he's doing all this violent talk with them arms as thin as twiglets. <laughs> but he's probably smoked so many twigs that he hasn't even twigged yet. <laughs> I mean, he's such a weird looking Neanderthal type thing that if he says he's getting excited, everyone in the room takes a step back and gets a little bit frightened. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not at the prospect of him getting violent because he's minuscule with punches. This is Tyrion to Tyson. Mm. Compa compare weight classes. Sleepy's clearly levels up in the size, and so if he talks about having them arms on show, skinny guy ain't putting any weight behind it. Mm. The only twisted fact about you is that you're skinny as hell. Yeah. Family clearly ain't been feeding him well. These punches, <laughs> finna be leaving him with injuries dealt, because if I take care of the pounds, Pennies won't be able to take care of himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Make some noise around yeah. one. Alright, yo, round number one, six birthdays here, so I'm gonna do Twisted Pennies, let's go. Bro, are you taking the fucking piss? <laughs> A journalist from Faggotville. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he acting ill? I'll let this mutt expel a Catherine wheel and slap you till you're yakking up the salad from your Happy Meal, you mm -hmm. animal. Mm -hmm. You've been going ham on all them as the price salmon deals. <laughs> <laughs> so when I first saw the size of you, I thought, well, damn, this motherfucker looks American. Either that, or this motherfucker's motherfucked an elephant. <laughs> I know that I shouldn't go in on your weight, because that shit's fucking bait. And it's not like you're fat fat, it's more like you just swallowed a fridge and took a shape. <laughs> Honestly, I'm trying not to talk about your frame. I just think it's mad that you managed to walk without a cane. <laughs> See, I've been through the... <laughs> See, I've been through the desert on a horse without a name, and for you to try and fuck with my portion of the game, you'd have to snort an answer cane and drive a Porsche through the ring for 40 nights and 40 days to get your order off in time for them to call us guys the same. <laughs> but you're from Brighton. So that explains why you've got a proper forced opinion on everything. <laughs> <laughs> you should get someone from Bournemouth to bring you some heroin. Did you do that shit where you spit aggressive style grime in your bars, with your head from the left to the right like a shark? To me it just sounds like you're forcing the art, because none of it's hard, you just talk out your ass. Mm. And stomping around like you're doing a hacker won't ruin my chakras. I'll send you right back to that room where you practice with twos on a fat spliff and tell you to come back when you feel active, you glutinous bastard. <laughs> See, one day, I went to Texas, and I filled my mouth with soda pot. And sometimes, when I can't be asked to make breakfast, I just take a swig of milk and then fill my mouth with cocoa pops. <laughs> so more to the point, you could give me anyone to write for. When I lift them up, the show will stop. Or you could just give me a rifle, and when I lift it with a shoulder stop, I lick him down with solar shots, spitting motor rocks, I got the vision of a polar fox. And villain had a whole lot to say about you when he was visiting the home of Liam Gallagher. 
But hearing your name on all of them man's lips only makes me feel happier because now I'm switching their attention to the real challenger. Our buddy him and use his body just for beating down the barrier. Because yeah. you're already in this industry, sucking up to guys for a cut of the pie, and I'm still in my street cutting up supplies one drug at a time. But I'll tell you Ooh. something for free. You can't fuck with my rhymes, fuck with me. I'll fuck up your life just for something I write. And I'll tell you something else for free. TP's greasy. For anyone who thinks this shit guy is sick with rhymes must have been hypnotized by a Mr. Guy when the prick was like, you are now feeling sleepy. <laughs> and dance to tear apart the spirit of this weary mark. You think that comedy beat me? I'm gonna tell you something that'll chill your heart. I think rap to beat you, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> See, I pulled, the wor- I pulled the words twisted and pennies from the sky, and then the voices told me I should use them as a pseudonym. Mm. And now I'm just that newbie and Yakubi and moves like a Peruvian and uses super noodles as a truth serum. <laughs> but you look like the type to be a special guest on Loose Women. <laughs> I'm nude with them and start comparing boobs with them. <laughs> See, I've been spitting since a you. I'm not new to this at all. I'm still grateful for the fact I had a studio at school. Mm. Rappers get a couple likes and now these losers think they're cool. I ain't on a hating thing, but man, are moving like some fools. Mm. This is a classic example of rapper versus battler, champion versus amateur, captain versus passenger, Adidas versus Slazenger. Mm. <laughs> man like me came upon Brother Lynch Hong. Man like you came upon Mumford and Sons. <laughs> <laughs> man like me, I go out and grind for the shit I need. You get a year's supply of life under a Christmas tree. <laughs> I leave the world emphatic, clutching elements of wonder. Your biggest enemy is general discomfort. <laughs> so just kick back, chill. Just kick back, chill. And the pink patch quilt with a Big Mac meal. You need to quit rap still. Because in your tryout, you did me some dirt. Seeing you get marked in a Mishka t-shirt really did hurt. Now you're literally cursed. Because I used to be the kid who had a nosebleed every other day. And then I was the kid that smoked weed every fucking day. Spat a load of bars, shook a load of hands, and now I'm twisted pennies and they know me in the fucking place. Mm. But some people don't fuck with me. And I'd hate to give a fuck. Because you can't be everyone's cup of tea. Or you'll get taken for a mug. Mm. It's tea time. Mm. Time, let's go. Make some noise, round one, let's go. Yo, it's round two, Sleepy G. Throw shit, man. Six yeah. birthday, let's go. Let's go. Let's go now I'm back from that rap to battle. Mm. Safe to say I had to sit my test. And considering that shit was three days prep, Safe to say that I did my best. But calling this a competition now, that shit's a right mess because it can't be a competition now. There ain't no competition left. <laughs> His verses shouldn't see the surface. Every bar just recycled from an old cipher or set. So even though this has been like one, well, well over three months prep, I reckon he still bought three rounds of straight in directs. <laughs> <laughs> but I digress because a loss for you already overdue. If your battle record was to quote the truth, really, You'd be 0 and 2. <laughs> but you're such a weird looking motherfucker anyway that repping that Mishka gear is the only time you've got eyes all over you. Yeah. Now you've got an album out called Torture Chamber. Nope. That shit was accurately nope. named. <laughs> that shit was accurately named. Because nope. after listening to it, brother, I was in unimaginable pain. <laughs> Let's go! Add torture in the name to explain how painful it was to listen to, then chamber because outside your room that shit would never resonate. Mm. Hold up, wait. You thought you'd win this? Have a word. They're multis, they ain't mighty. All you're doing is matching words. Mm. Your CD just shit beats every track stack with an average verse and you baited yourself with them hooks, so look who's opened a can of worms. Battle career won't last long, you won't fly by, you'll crash and burn because I'm a class act of a class that's beyond something that this man can learn because he named himself Pennies and that shit accurate for certain because we know off rapping isn't earning and on this battle circuit that's exactly what he's worth. This matchup, absurd but kind of rolls like Tinder, you know? I'll swipe this bitch aside just because I don't like this profile picture. (laughs) Real rap. Listen, mister. (laughs) Listen, mister. I have to take a massive bite to satisfy my appetite. (laughs) (laughs) If you believe that, don't. Clearly a massive lie. Take a peek at this scene with your eyes and you'd realise that if he had a massive appetite, (laughs) You wouldn't be this skinny in size. (laughs) Believe me, I eat a lot. I'm right. Right, it's Twisted Pennies round number two. Let's go, boy. I'll run upon this guy like Brad Pitt at the beginning of Troy. Mm. I don't care if you're spitting in your serious voice. You bear, you bear in the big blue house looking clown fucking guy. I should leave you with a mound on your eye. Don't look around all surprised. Because if you try to come to my party, I'd lock you out. But you know what is fucked? Look at the size of me and look at the size of you. 
And I still genuinely reckon that could knock you out. <laughs> look, you look, you look like Abe Lincoln if he was an AIDS victim. No, no, that bar was quite shy. If I'm being honest, I only said it because it rhymed like <coughs> Abe Lincoln, AIDS victim, fuck that. I'll say it different, bro. You look like Ray Winston if you played a Simpson. <laughs> On. I can kill it with that plain simple shit. Well, as long as whoever's judging this knows who Ray Winston is. <laughs> well, you ain't got the stamina to shadow box with after gods. Carry on, I'll rip that poison apple off your Macintosh and dash you out of Camelot for acting like your Lancelot. I heard you like to skank a lot on going out when you dance a lot. Right. See, if Molly is for you, sure, Molly is for you. I just think your drawer is setting that you probably shouldn't chew. Because what are you gonna do when you wanna get some food, but your tongue and lips are knocking on the bottom of your shoe? <laughs> Honestly, that's true, but McDonald's has a queue, so you've got a bit of time to get your posture up, it's cool. Just don't go trying to make friends with Ronald in the loop because he's got shitty food to sell and he don't want you in his crew. <laughs> but you're already in a squad anyway. Yeah, but you man are all slack. Because you've been going for years and you just got them recording your fourth track. So fuck Soapbox, I'm calling you all whack. This fat sleepy gay boy gets woken up by a flu every day, so I'm calling him Snorlax. Mm. Here I am again battering a rapper with an acapella. I remember when you called out that tally break. <coughs> That was some of the moistest <laughs> shit I've ever seen a dude do. He shouted, Carly, looked to the camera and went, <laughs> That shit there was like 500 different types of gay. <laughs> so I can, only, I can only assume that pew pew is the noise the guns in Brighton make. <laughs> and anyway, the only rappers in this entire league with violent speech I even slightly believe is that tall guy from Leeds and Theo from Chef. But you look like you've never even seen open flesh. And that goes for beef when it goes over the edge and for females when they're open their legs. Mm. Mm. I don't even want to do this. All this fucking shit is long. Have we got a gun each other down? Can't we just get along? Because I'm sick of coming to events on my own and this is a long way from my ends. And for some stupid reason I thought this battle rap thing would be the best way for me to make some friends. <laughs> <laughs> Psych! Fuck that! Fuck you man! Me and Toucan are gonna go and bump Wu-Tang! <laughs> Fuck this prick! Fuck this prick! I get rid of him today! Stick a bit of cake in the middle of a plate and then frisbee it away! I don't give a fuck if you're 10 foot 10, you look like that big baby and spirit it away! <laughs> I said it when I spray. I said it when I spray. I'll be digging him a grave, then I fill it with his innards when I rid him of his brain. Tearing him with the bare minimum of rage and still leave him looking like a missile hit him in the face. Why well, one would you go, blood? Is that blessed? I seen her in that west looking mad stressed. <laughs> She's on my dick, is she? Ain't even heard me rap yet. You better hope she knows the way around a clap test. See you, Will. <laughs> Let's go, make some noise. Let's go. Yo, six shades on Sleepy G round number three. Let's go, man. Now, I couldn't give two average fucks for Twisted Pennies. Because mm. he's an average fuck when he writes. I'm twisted with the pen. He's clearly running off an inspiration tank that's empty. My ride better, drive fresher. This match, hatch back to a Bentley. To best me, you best be at your best beat. Because I've seen you at your best, and you best believe the best believe. My best beyond what your best could be. Oh. Now, I'm a nice guy. I won't deny. <laughs> Outside this ring, I'm friendly. But in here, this pen, it pierces throats. That's pesky levels of deadly. Wait, oh. strike for the neck where this pen reach. By now, you should know, if I name flip, shit's deadly. So just a heads up, won't be his tails you're landing on if I flip pennies. Mm. Get me? Mm. I don't care who your team be. With that irrelevant speech, how could T beat me when I've got twisted bars hidden in plain sight whilst I speak easy? <sighs> Believe me, when people have been discussing this, they're saying sleepy. There ain't been much debating. It's deep. Sleepy's taking over. He won't get no resuscitation because Penny's style old. Penny's ain't currency. Penny's just currency. <laughs> I'm using his name to barter my name up a couple stages. And I don't like the fact that he's so thin. Clearly. Man, I hate it. <laughs> like, Lines about sticks and that, thinking that's something most people relate with. He ain't got performance either, ain't moving at all when he sprays shit. I just find it funny. With all them thin lines, this stick figure still ain't acting very animated. Mm. Whereas each line I design intricately, designed, the calligraphy's astounding. It's as if I'd had every written, written down with a fountain. Fuck your hashtags. Me, I move more like Snapchat. That speak through writtens with imagery around it. I'm versatile. Each verse titled as a winning round. So who's this kiddie doubting? I could get these writtens out, spitting rounds on everything Twisted Pennies isn't about, just as a little outing. Or I could go more serious with jokes and go Wayne Gacy. Because my vision for this Twisted situation, just a killer clowning. Twisted Penny's a legend? No, that's not right. Because I think I just beat him and I've been on bad bars twice. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright, round number three, final round. First break battle of the day, it's on Twisted Pennies. Let's go, man. Okay, first off, fuck Mr. Tongue Twister for already saying absolutely everything that rhymes with Jay McDougall. <laughs> <laughs> on the other hand, I suppose it's not his fault that you ate some noodles, laced with bugle, and raped a poodle. <laughs> But no, I know I might not want to hear no more Game of Thrones was, but suck back to your innit, because yo... <laughs> I've got a bone to pick with you, and I'm, pi and I'm pissed about something. You made a little mix called Winter is coming, and that ice and fire shit, that's my territory. So don't start stepping on my foot with your next pathetic dubs, you pussy all, I bet you ain't read any of the books. He thinks he's, he thinks he's the mountain, I ain't having it no more. Because for this faggot to last in that character cast, he'd actually have to be acting as Hodor. But there's only one fallacy that, he ain't got Bran on his back, no, I just kept his Danny Jack up in his funny pack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. So fuck off back to your faggots and your chip shop tourists. How are you gonna come to a rap battle on Cosman for being a hip hop purist? And you know you should have saved those bars for me. Because with hip hop and battle rap being at odds with each other is one thing that only serves to break apart the scene. But see me, I'll hang this deep house prick from a tree house quick when I need my fix of that freestyle shit. Mm. You see you see me at the show with a bitch and a bat spot. You see this prick in a video about bad bars. Look, <laughs> right now, you're fucking with the wrong wigger. I remember how you opened up. <laughs> I remember how you opened up a tongue twister. You said his bars are wetter than the sea life center. Shit. Bruv, I could have thought of that if I didn't even know what a sea life center is. <laughs> so right now I'm gonna give him some facts. Between spitting bars that are incredibly whack, to hearing your opponent's bars and pretending to laugh, to taking every opportunity to beg it with staff, to having a fucking gay gentleman tash, there's four seasons, there's four seasons in the year of Sleepy G's a prick, and still he doesn't even have the decency to quit. So next time you go to a shop, I think you should cop some clarity, because around the time when you started battling was around the time when Don't Flop started losing popularity. <laughs> The evidence is there, so if you reckon that's coincidence, Regin, you're a simpleton. I watched every single one of your battles and in my opinion you ain't ever registered a single win. So you are not my done. And I'ma clear certain up while I got the spotlight on. Them two fucking hillbilly used to clash dialect and Zem. Nah, them are not from where I'm from. <laughs> and around that time, my city scene wasn't nice. Everybody saw two next guys coming on a thing and getting critically eaten alive. Nobody really knew how to react. They needed somebody to keep the spirit alive, so I spoke to Lester. And now I'm on a mission, so it's literally GTA 5. But before I complete this, is time. Before I complete this, is time. I'm gonna get a bit soulful so I can really kill Sleepy tonight. Cause you been taking drugs uptown. It's the morning and you're fucked up now. <laughs> but there's no such thing as a bud calm down. <laughs> So excuse me while I puff my cloud <laughs> my round time sound. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yo, rap top, I'm still at Don't Flop. Yo, I'm gonna keep it quick, yeah, I'm gonna give it first round. Twisted Pennies, I think it started strong, yeah. So did Sleepy G, but I think Twisted P, Twisted Pennies edge the first, yeah, but I'm gonna give last two a fucking Sleepy G, man, I think that's it, yeah. Two on Sleepy. Briggs, Mosh team, just watched Sleepy G and Twisty Pennies. Thought it was pretty close all the way up until the third, but it was that close, I think the singing kind of lost it for uh, Twisty Pennies at the end. A couple of nice bars all, but yeah, Briggs, where's my bread rolls? Oh, hi, Pete Cashmore. Um, I would have given that 3-0 to Twisted Pennies, but uh, the uh, the singing, yeah, not feeling that at all. However, I'd still score it 2-1 in his favour, so TP. Rosie, done for all fucking day. Uh, CBG versus Twisted Pennies. Um, I give it the first First round was the closest round. I give that to Twisted Pennies just slightly, and then second two was for me clearly Sleepy G. But hang tight, uh, Twisted Pennies. Uh, just watched Sleepy G, uh, Twisted Pennies. I give it over to Sleepy G. I thought it was a bit more direct. Twisted Pennies rounds were a lot longer, so he had a lot of punches, but I feel like it was more diluted. And preempting the bad bars thing in the third clinched it for me. Sleepy G. Yo, it's Earl back here. We had a break battle. It was top eight tournament semi final. She obviously main channel. Shouts to them too. Uh, it was on the Don't Flop Extra channel first. This is on the main channel. It was Twisted Pennies. Versus Sleepy G, please make some noise for both the MCs. That's yeah. fucking yeah. crazy. Obviously, you'll see both of them back again and again and again. I'm sure in 2015. Uh, Twisted Pennies on my left, Sleepy G on my right. But it was a 4-1 decision in the end. The win went to Sleepy G. Make some noise. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Watch that Integ battle, 
You should know I'm down to beat down all these dudes with weird hair, but he shaved it off, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine, I get it. Must have finally realised he looked like a right bellend. <laughs> Either way, for Twisted, this shit, it's an inevitable loss. So if you thought you were going to win, you're clearly going to get it wrong, because the way I put this shit together, well, we ain't going to get along, because when I put down lines, it breaks lines down. Mm. Whatever level he's on, like Tetris blocks. <laughs> Two battles in, you ain't really said a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and despite the feedback for it, the final and these semi finals will be on the main channel, so it's all good. All right, MC on my left hand side, you know the score, he killed it in his battle number one. Now, battle number two in the tournament is Twisted Penny, he's made some noise. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, as you can tell, we're in a bit of a rush to get this done. Shouts to both MCs for being uh, cool with this. MC on my right hand side, again, absolutely smashed it on three days prep in the first uh, battle of the tournament. Battle number two is Sleepy G, make some noise. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. First, yeah? yeah. Alright, cool. Break battle number one. Yeah. Break tournament shit. So I'm gonna do Sleepy G round right. number fucking one. Let's go. We good, yeah? Yep, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. If he's done his research on me, right now, dude should be feeling real scared. Because if he's in state of Gollum, get the mind state of Schmeagel on this theory, I'm gonna have to speak some shit to make it clear. I just find it funny that as soon as he finds a way of stepping back inside the ring, that physical presence he has seems to disappear. Mm. And he's doing all this violent talk with them arms as thin as twiglets. <laughs> but he's probably smoked so many twigs that he hasn't even twigged yet. <laughs> I mean, he's such a weird looking Neanderthal type thing that if he says he's getting excited, everyone in the room takes a step back and gets a little bit frightened. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not at the prospect of him getting violent. Going on, it's your boy uh, battle number three of the day. We are here at the Don't Flop six birthday. Shouts to everybody who's come outside. It's the first break battle of the day. First time we've ever done this. Shouts to my boy Bam every time for uh, sorting this out. Okay, this is a top eight tournament battle. Yes, we do know it's been a long time since June round number one, but we always had every intention to finish it off. And it's now the sixth birthday. We're coming. Fact, he's a no name. This matchup still got me set for the top. I'm a move like the Wolf of Wall Street. Why? I came here to make my name off Penny Stock. Wins in DF. I don't expect you to get a lot. <laughs> and he doesn't know it yet, but he's definitely getting washed. But you know what I reckon will send him the message? Watch, I'll show him how these punches work until the penny drops. Let's rock. You said, I live in the Lord of the Rings fantasy world anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a little weird. Because <laughs> you've got the physical...